I have a question for you, though. Sure. What, what uh, prompted you to ask about the credibility of the coalition and the members who serve on it? It's because the people that are on it. Well, I know, but the associations can, of the people are on it. Can you be more specific on sure. that? George this Cole. Council? George Cole. Well, what this is person right here behind you that was just arrested in Bell. Well, arrested doesn't mean. Teresa Jacoba, the citizens of Bell want to know the money that was raised for the uh, the foundation for breast cancer. Um, everyone's getting you on, on record, no. shielding her from a public question. No, no, I just, it's going to be an I interesting just, video I, for YouTube. So my question is, what what prompted the the question to the board members about their credibility? Because if there's something that you have that um, we need to be aware of, you need to bring it to my attention. Sure. How about that the Old Timers Association holds bingo in many cities, and the returns for taxes show no bingo revenue when the, when the returns actually show a spot for gaming and bingo revenue? How could that even be? No, I don't know. Do they no, not make I'm, any money off bingo I'm at all? I'm just asking about the coalition. Well, doesn't that raise questions about George Cole? He signs the returns. For the coalition? No, he's he's been associated with this, and apparently a person spearheaded it. Okay, so there's George Cole right there. Teresa Jacobo was just arrested. The city of Bell, you've got her as the treasurer. The city of Bell, if you go to their website, and I've got the city attorney and the city administrator on record and one council, the one councilman that's still there, all on record, it's all on YouTube, <coughs> stating that the financials for 2008 and 2009 weren't even finalized. Mm -hmm. And if you go to the website, you'll see that the financials, the actual spending, only goes through May 2008. They left open the last month so they can make adjustments for the fiscal year. No, I, so, I understand, so I understand you're, you're you've got a treasurer of this now. organization who can't handle or be involved to satisfy the financials of the city that she represents. So you're saying is that because of her involvement with Bell, that that necessarily taints the coalition's financial matters? I think that it taints the coalition. Uh, it it, it you puts it. Let me ask you. Do ask you have me a any question. recommendations on how we should find people that have no stink around them? I see. Okay. All right. But uh, do you have any recommendations? Because the coalition requires that there be a representative from Bell. Um, attend these meetings as the government documents. Do but does it have to be a person that's on the council? Um, it does. That's how it was set up initially, which then, I have no Then Mr. Of. Velez is the only one that appears to have not been tainted. I see. Okay. All right. Do you have any other suggestions that I can bring back before the coalition? I would say that you, uh, you f number one, have a number of people that are of questionable background and involvement. You mentioned okay. two. Anyone else? I think you've got a city councilman in, May in Maywood, in a city that's failed financially. Uh, you know, again on this board. But you know, so okay, I understand that. I, I think it puts into question not just those individuals, but the whole concept of of the releasing of these schools, this money, this contracting to this group, when you've got people involved that not only can't balance their city budget but who fail financially. If you look at the state controller's report for uh, Bell, it says that the, <clears throat> the bond money that's missing is of such significant sums that it, it is larger than the salaries that these people have, have stolen. Are you aware of the educational issues that these um, residents are facing here? I think the educational issues uh, suffer when the organization is headed by people that have these these backgrounds. Yeah. But are you aware of each of the involvements of these individuals in trying to improve the education outcome? I, I'm sure the cause is worthy. No, but I'm but you saying, know what? No. Running the city of Bell is a worthy cause as well. But yeah. that can also be done incorrectly and potentially yeah. illegally. Yeah. So you know, many many times good causes are hidden, are, are hurt, or, or are a front for other things. I mean, oh. the people in Bell always say, well, look at our parks. Look how beautiful our parks are. Think of the children. How we'll take care of the old people. Well, let me, here's my suggestion, because um, I think that your concern, uh, obviously, is, is deep-rooted. And as a taxpayer, you're entitled to bring your recommendations forward. So what I'd like to do is get from you some recommendations, and then I would like to meet with the coalition and the staff in terms of, of your concerns. Why don't you give me your business card and I'll make sure they're forwarded through an attorney okay. with records requests that will be coming. Thank you.
Thank you very much. You're welcome.